What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Sailor Set. For many of you guys, I might be new, but uh, some of them might be knowing me through Ahoy Navigos, where I used to create educational videos for uh, second mates aspirants. But for uh, many, I uh, will be new, so I'll introduce myself. My name is Sayyid Mohammed, and this is my YouTube channel, Sailor Set. So guys, you might be wondering why I'm here today. Actually, it is part of my passion. It's been very long, I always wanted to start my blogging career. But uh, I was at the initial stages of uh, settling down with my career. I just got promoted as an officer and uh, it was one or two contracts I've completed. Now I'm pretty much good confident enough my work that uh, I can complete it. And I will have good space for my passions to be carried along with. So that's why I started this today and uh, I just finished my vacation and I'm about to join a new ship. Yesterday I got a call from uh, my company, they are planning to put me on an LNG carrier. Uh, I am an LNG carrier officer. As many of you guys know, these are one of the sophisticated kind of ships. And uh, many of the <coughs> Merchant Navy guys always wanted to join on these ships. So, it's just because it's uh, well paid. That is the only reason many of them want to come. But uh, the other thing I would say is, uh, it is one of the safest ships and uh, it's pretty good. Uh, if you start working on these kind of ships, you never wanted to go on other ships. But uh, there are always pros and cons in all kinds of ships. And even shipping is having many pros and cons. But uh, take it as a positive way and uh, start working with your uh, passion. Then it will be a great deal to go ahead with. So guys, uh, so today I'm, as you can see, I'm in a hotel. My company has put me on a hotel in Chennai for uh, initial paperwork uh, before joining. So I went to office yesterday and uh, did some paperwork with them. Those were like uh, initial contract signing and uh, some debriefing and uh, verification. Also I completed my medicals yesterday. So I was supposed to fly yesterday but uh, there was some issues with my visa not getting on time. So today I received a call from the office, they have uh, finalized my visa. So I am now ready to go. So guys, I uh, will be joining from Australia. So it's a long flight. I have a flight from uh, Chennai to Dubai. It's almost for about five hours. After that, I have a flight from Dubai to direct to Brisbane. That's in Australia. That's around 14 hours of flight. It's a long flight. I don't know what I'll be doing in that flight for that long time. Let's see. And after that, uh, from this Brisbane, I have to go to Gladstone. That is the port where the vessel will be coming. So it is just a domestic flight there. And uh, hopefully I'll be having a COVID test out there. It's been very long since COVID has left, but it's part of company requirement to make sure the crew will be always safe on board. I don't get anything to them and uh, it's better always to be precautious than uh, getting into trouble. So I'm now planning or uh, to leave by 5 o'clock. It's almost now uh, 3.30. So I'll be planning to leave by 5 o'clock and I have a flight at uh, 21.45. That's uh, 9.45 tonight. So I'm just pretty packing up my things. So today onwards, I'll be doing my vlogs and I'll take you guys along with me. Yeah guys, that's it about my introduction. Uh, so the rest of the things you will get to know about me in my future vlogs. So let's pack up things and uh, get to the airport now. Bye. So now I'm uh, pretty much done with packing up my things. It's almost six. So let's proceed down, check out and uh, we have our car waiting down for us to take us to the airport. It was a very good stay. I don't like carrying these uh, trolleys. That's why you can see it's all loaded up over me. So we're done with checkout. This is the car which will take us to the airport. I've loaded my baggage. And so let's proceed to the airport now. It was a quite good day, but uh, there was a lot of traffic. Even I was worried I could make it to the airport on time. But uh, the driver was good. He took me anyhow on time there so around 7 30 mm -hmm. i reached the airport 9 40 where we had the flight it was at uh, terminal 4 
one of the hardest part of being a seafarer is saying goodbye to your loved ones long distance for some time it's really hard but work is worship you have to go through it so let's board the flight now it's almost time i have uh, cleared all the immigration and all the security checks so we have seated we have a flight of around 4.5 hours from chennai to dubai so at uh, one o'clock in the night we landed in dubai international airport it was a quite a uh, good flight as everybody knows emirates always keep its uh, level up to so we have around uh, 10 hours of uh, stay over this airport company has uh, arranged for a launch for us it's a very good airport with a lot of opportunities for uh, purchase and uh, shopping so now i've completed with all the formalities and now i've entered the launch it's they're having some reserved seats and uh, recliners so that uh, you can take a good nap and i also have the habit of uh, scribbling down the best parts of my life so this is the diary where i used to put down all my memories you can see many of my uh, notable memories in this uh, diary it's a part of my life and it's always with me during my travel so after a very good sleep at night it's morning now it's 8:30 so the launch has a variety of uh, menu for this breakfast they were getting something for me the breakfast menu was uh, pretty decent so this is what i got for me it's delicious and after uh, my breakfast so i have to catch my next flight heading for brisbane the flight is at uh, 10:50 and uh, we started boarding the flight it's an airbus with uh, two floors and we boarded the craft and geared up to take off at uh, 10:50 So this is the lunch by Emirates. I ordered for some uh, rice and beef, and we have some uh, proteins and some uh, sweets. They are provided with some uh, chocolates, butter, and a good decent lunch. So guys, uh, finally after a flight of around uh, 14 hours, it uh, just came to an end. We landed in Australia. I'm feeling super relaxed. The flight was so good that uh, I didn't feel the stress of flying for continuous 14 hours. Now we have to go through the immigration and uh, customs. They have given some declarations to do. So after the clearing customs and uh, immigration, I was just waiting for my luggage. So I have one more uh, domestic flight to catch 
from uh, south to north of australia so i have to collect my baggage from international and i will have to check in again with this panda jet and uh, this is the bus that will be taking us to the domestic terminal it's a 5 minute ride and uh, free of cost with this serene view of uh, australia So we have reached the next domestic terminal for this Kanda Sair. So we have been waiting for around uh, three hours out here. It's time for our final flight to Gladstone. The gate is open, and now let's head to our final destination, Gladstone. So we have reached our final destination that's Gladstone in Australia and you can see this is a small airport i can see only one of the flight that we came as the only flight in the airport and we have some helicopters around and it's pretty small airport with one conveyor belt and there is no guards or anything just airline staff not like the airports what we see in india full of uh, crpf soldiers So I'm now waiting for my luggage to arrive. The agent is already outside. So after picking the luggage, I will uh, head towards the agent. He's coming out of the airport, and uh, my agent is calling me towards my car. Also, in between, the agent is the person who takes all responsibility of the crew members arriving at the destination, taking them to the hotels and doing whatever the test required, and. Uh, taking them safely to the ship So we have arrived at the hotel. The check-in procedures are completed, and I have my keys. So let's uh, now get to my room. So guys, this is the room the company has provided. It's a pretty decent room with uh, fridge. It's like a complete apartment for us. We have sofas and a guest area, followed by a balcony over here. It's a nice view from here, and uh, this is the bedroom what we have here. Now we are having around the one double bed and one single bed. but it's just me who's going to stay here so we'll take this double bed so that i have enough space for it it's a good mirror out here and uh, this is the bathroom what we have for the room we have a washing machine and uh, dryer here also a bathtub and uh, looks good so that's it guys we have reached our hotel now uh, it's almost uh, o'clock now and uh, i'm super tired it's like how much uh, 31 hours of uh, total transit including our uh, transit times 
in between uh, 40 hours of one flight and uh, 4 hours and the other one was around 1 and a half hours I'm super tired actually so that's it for today I'll go and take some rest and uh, we'll meet you guys soon and uh, let's see we have around uh, 2 days now here for uh, the last uh, delayed so they'll be coming around after 2 days so we have very good time here so I'm planning to take you guys around Australia so that's it guys uh, have a good day